our first apartment in California. It's close to K-Town and downtown. So it's like we're K-Downtown. K-Downtown is where we are. And it only took a month and two weeks for us to find it. What else is there to say? Excited? It's not quite Scottsdale Court. <laughs> uh, it's uh, twice as expensive and half the size. <laughs> but hey, at least we're in California. That's the important part. All right, okay. <laughs> travel log. It's been about uh, a month since we got here and uh, behind me you can see a beautiful uh, Glendale, California, which we're about to uh, move away from because uh, this was just a temporary stay. Um, yeah, we got a new place which you'll see the pictures of and we'll be moving there uh, this weekend and we're pretty excited about it. Uh, because we've just been staying in one room for the past month and that's not enough room for us even though we have a one bedroom studio it's a bit bigger <laughs> so uh, so there you go um, Wow so reflections on our decision to move here uh, obviously I think it's gonna be good time will tell of course um, but uh, yeah, it's been weird. I've been working as a uh, background actor, which uh, is a fancy way of uh, saying uh, extra. And uh, I mean, it's been awesome. I've got to meet a lot of really cool people and you know, get paid to perform, even though there's very minimal performance involved. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, paid very little. So. Uh, you know, I'm, it's motivating to, so I can get my career, you know, up and running uh, as soon as possible. But basically, our main goal has been to, uh, for the month, has been to find an apartment. And now the uh, extra work has slowed down because it's uh, Thanksgiving week. So it's kind of a slow week, and we're just biding our time until first Thanksgiving, where we're going to spend it with uh, some of uh, Sandy's, I don't know, extended relatives, I guess. That should be fun. And then on Friday, our big move into our new place that is in L.A. So, to those of you who have been watching this uh, series of videos, I say thank you for watching. And uh, if you're an actor and you're wondering if you should move uh, to L.A., especially from Florida to L.A., you should do it. Um, it's pretty nice out here. Uh, people are nice for the most part, as long as they're not in their cars. Um, I mean, and if you know you come out here and you don't have a job uh, and you want to act like me, well, then there's always extra work. And all you have to do is show up at Central Casting. Um, they'll take your picture and your information. Bam, there, you're, you're in an agency. But from there, you have to uh, actually, you know, you have to call the central casting hotline, which doesn't exactly work. So then you sign up for extras management, which is a call service. Then they call you with the work. And uh, basically, thanks to that, I've been working steadily ever since. Uh, well, until this week, of course. But hey, people told me that it slows down around the holidays, so what can you do? Um, I mean, I've worked on some uh, big name stuff. Uh, let's see, Stalker, CSI Cyber. Um, what else? Um, something called Bosch. Um, that's supposed to be on Amazon, I guess. Oh, The Mentalist. Um, and yeah, and I've hobnob with a couple of celebrities. Well, I guess it's not hobnobbing if you see them at work. But, uh, you know, I don't particularly care. The only one that I cared about was Stacy Keach, and I told him I was a big fan. And that was it. Everybody, oh, Peter McNichol, he was kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, like so. 
yeah, if you want to move out here and try to be an actor, just do it, I guess. I mean, it's definitely not easy, but I mean, there's got to be worse things in the world, like fighting in a war or digging a ditch or something. So, uh, all right, once again, thanks for watching and I guess <laughs> follow your dreams and stuff like that. That's what my parents always told me. All right, bye.